Hey there, health enthusiasts. Welcome back to my health, your go-to channel for all things wellness and prevention. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you never miss an update. Today, we're diving into a critical topic that affects millions, the medications that could be causing neuropathy sooner than you think. Before we jump into the list of medications, let's talk briefly about what neuropathy actually is. Neuropathy refers to damage or dysfunction of the nerves, leading to symptoms like tingling, numbness, pain, and weakness, primarily in the hands and feet. It can seriously affect your quality of life. Now, while many people are aware of the benefits of medications, not everyone knows the potential side effects. Unfortunately, some drugs can cause or worsen neuropathy. Let's look at a few common culprits. Drug 1. Chemotherapy Drugs First on our list are chemotherapy drugs. While they're crucial in fighting cancer, certain types, like cisplatin, paclitaxel, and vincristine, can cause nerve damage. This is a well-known side effect, but it's still important to weigh the risks with your healthcare provider. Drug 2. Statins. Next, we have statins, commonly prescribed to lower cholesterol. Although they help reduce heart disease risk, some people may experience muscle pain and, in rare cases, neuropathy. If you're on statins and notice unusual symptoms, it's crucial to talk to your doctor. Drug 3. Certain Antibiotics Certain antibiotics, particularly those in the fluoroquinolone class, like ciprofloxacin and levofloxacin, can also contribute to neuropathy. These antibiotics are highly effective, but the risk of nerve damage is something to be mindful of, especially with long-term use. Drug 4. Anti-seizure medications. Anti-seizure medications, such as phenytoin and carbamazepine, are life-saving for people with epilepsy, but they can also have side effects, including neuropathy. Monitoring your symptoms and working closely with your healthcare team can help manage these risks. Drug 5. Anti-alcohol drugs. Finally, we have disulfiram, a drug used to support sobriety in people with alcohol dependence. While effective, disulfiram can lead to peripheral neuropathy, particularly with long-term use. Always consider the risks and benefits of any treatment plan with your healthcare provider. If you're taking any of these medications and are concerned about neuropathy, don't panic. The key is early detection and prevention. Here's what you can do. First, talk to your healthcare provider about your symptoms. They might adjust your medication or suggest alternatives. Second, maintain a healthy lifestyle. This includes regular exercise, a balanced diet, and managing conditions like diabetes that can worsen neuropathy. Lastly, consider supplements like vitamin B12 and alpha-lipoic acid, which may help protect your nerves. But again, consult your doctor before starting any new supplements. Remember, while medications are vital for treating various conditions, being informed about their side effects is just as important. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit from this information. And don't forget to subscribe to my health for more tips on staying healthy and living your best life.